Thank you for joining us for today's webinar on migrating the IBM Cognos Analytics on Cloud. My name is Jesse McDalty. I'm an account manager here at OPA. I'll be taking you through today's content. Throughout this webinar, feel free to ask questions via the chat window. We'll either take questions at the end or follow up with answers directly. Also, feel free to reach out directly to me with the contact information you see here. Before we jump into the content, I'd like to quickly introduce LPA. LPA is an IBM Platinum business partner. Platinum is IBM's highest accreditation level. It is held by less than 1% of IBM partners. We are truly one of the elite analytics providers. At LPA, we help our customers leverage IBM analytics to make smarter decisions and drive better business outcomes. LPA provides enablement and implementation services to help you achieve the highest level of ROI, reduce your implementation risks, and decrease your time to value. We chose IBM as a partner due to their commitment to innovation, their end-to-end -end analytics capabilities, and their cloud leadership. Visit LPA.com to learn more about our firm. Also, there's a lot of information on the screen in front of you right now. How can LPA help with Cognos Analytics? Well, first, events such as these. So visit lpa.com forward slash events or go to our resources portion of our site to find uh, events we've already done and playbacks. Lots of great, basically free training and enablement content, especially on Cognos Analytics. Uh, Rich Chester uh, does our technical content. He'll be doing a future webinar shortly on the next release of Cognos Analytics. So be on the lookout for that. Now, on-prem customers, we can help you with things like your on-prem upgrades. So if, if you're not on Cognos Analytics on-prem yet, we can help you do that, uh, that on-prem upgrade. We can do installations, configurations. We can provide the training required. Uh, or we could do full implementation services. So for, for on-prem, we've got you fully covered. Now on the cloud side, which is what we're here to talk about today, first and foremost, we offer a cloud migration assessment. And that's, there's no charge for that. So feel free to reach out to us following this webinar and set up some time. During this assessment, we'll talk about your current environment, make sizing recommendations, and also come up with kind of a project plan to help you migrate and provide you an expectation for how long that might take. Uh, we also provide full cloud migration services, including things like CQM to VQM migrations, which are often one of the biggest challenges with the, with the migration. We provide cloud jumpstarts for organizations just getting started with Cognos Analytics. LPA also has a report factory service. So we've got US-based report factory consultants they can help with conversions or other report backlogs that you may have. So if you, ha if you have a backlog of things and you need to get some reports out the door by a certain timeline, you know, give us a call. We'd be happy to give you a quote to help you build out those reports um, in time. Bridge to cloud and licensing. LPA has licensed experts. That's all we do, right? We can help you optimize your on-prem or cloud license configurations. And finally, we've got customized Cognos Analytics training. When I say customized, it means we're actually modifying the content with your data. So when your users are learning Cognos Analytics, they're doing it with your framework models. We deliver this training at your location, and the trainers that deliver this are not trainers, they're consultants that know Cognos, right? So, so these are folks that do training about 25% of the time, and the rest of the time they're doing Cognos implementation services. So these are true experts that can answer your technical questions. So end-to-end -end here, LPA has got you covered from full-blown implementations on-prem or cloud to just training and enablement. And again, contact sales at lpa.com to learn more. And we'd be happy to provide a cloud migration assessment at no cost. Similarly, for on-prem customers, if you're, if you're just thinking about going, doing an on-prem upgrade for now, we can also help you size and plan for that on-prem upgrade. OK, 
Okay, I'd like to start by ensuring we all use the same vocabulary for cloud. There's lots of different terms that I see people use, and there seems to be a lot of confusion exactly what cloud is. So I'd like to start just by kind of leveling the playing field that we're here with language. Now, the slide that's in front of you on the far left um, is on-prem. The blue boxes represent things you have to manage. You as the customer, these are all the things you have to manage. Right? Uh, for the other boxes where they're white, these are things that the cloud services provider is managing for you. So when you're on-prem, starting from the bottom up, you have to deal with everything from networking to your storage, the DR plan, the backups, the virtualization, your operating system, the middleware, runtime data applications. You have to manage all that. Plus, you have to make sure all that software is compatible. So it's a complex thing even when you're just patching servers, right? It's a complex thing. The next box to the right, infrastructure as a service. This is where you're using something like AWS or you're using SoftLayer and you're, you're having them spin up VMs for you and then you're installing software into that VM and you manage that VM from then on once that's spun up for you. Nice thing here is that, you know, you've got a cloud services provider handling things like the hardware for you. You know, but you're still managing a lot of those blue boxes. You have to deal with Cognos upgrades. Uh, you have to deal with your making sure your Windows environment is, is fully patched, et cetera. So next box over is platform as a service. Uh, in the IBM world, this would this would be considered Bluemix. So they're managing the middleware runtime. You have to manage your application that you're building with that Bluemix platform. That's platform as a service. And finally, what we're here to talk about today is software as a service. So Cognos Analytics on cloud is a true software as a service platform. Okay. The IBM cloud team is managing your Cognos environment. They are doing your Cognos patching. They're doing your, your OS patching, any middleware patching. They're making sure that all that software is compatible. They're backing up your content store. They're dealing with DR. They are owning all of that, right? All that blue that's on the left is shifted to white, right? IBM owns all that. So, tremendous value. And that, this gets to the why migrate to Cognos Analytics, or why go to cloud in general, right? Many of your organizations are already considering SaaS for the strategic value you can add to your companies, right? That's happening from the top down today, right? You know, so here are some of the key value statements with the Cognos Analytics on cloud. First, just like other cloud, lower your cost of ownership, reduce your IT overhead, and increase utilization rates using less hardware. Faster time to value, rapid deployment of capabilities so the users can make productive use of the software more quickly. Scalability, add users as needed without worrying about procuring new hardware and other infrastructure components. Less strain on IT resources. Because your internal IT organization does not need to install and operate the cloud-based solution, you can reduce or by bypass any IT backlog. Cost accounting benefits. Eliminate those upfront expenditures and ongoing costs for capital equipment, software licenses, and IT infrastructure and resources. Shift the cost from capital to operating expenses. One thing I like to talk about is license simplification. If you need a few extra users for just a few months, you don't have to call Jesse and buy a few extra perpetual licenses that you then own forever, right? You could just pay a monthly overage fee for the months that you need those. So it really provides you some great flexibility in licensing. Also, IBM is managing that environment for you. So they own the license side of that. There's one type of user in Cognos Analytics. So truly, Simply, you don't need to worry about what group that user is in from a license perspective. So, great flexibility. Okay, so we talked about why. Now, what is Cognos Analytics Cloud? I mean, it's a fully managed business intelligence platform delivered as a service on a per month subscription that offers many options for pricing and scale. It's a SaaS offering of Cognos Analytics as we defined SaaS earlier. Okay. This slide summarizes things good on the, on the left-hand side. 
Who is this suitable for? I get this question a lot because I've got customers that are that are five user shops, you know, up to some of the largest enterprises in the country. It's a good fit for everyone, you know, for the smaller shops, right? You don't have a lot of IT experts that know how to do Cognos upgrades, let's say, right? So having IBM own that for you is a great benefit, right? but it can also scale to full-blown large enterprises. Because you're gonna get the faster time to value, right? The, from the time of acquisition, you can have, you can have an environment um, ready for use in days, right? Without having to involve your IT team. So it can go very quickly, right? You can see the rest of the slide. Lots of organizations that it's suitable for. And again, we'd be happy to set up a call to talk more about your environment, to talk through the potential benefits of a call. Got that. There's different light options. So I like to take my customers through these options so they're fully aware of uh, the different considerations. So similar to on-prem, there's two ways you could license things. There's a user-based model, or there's a capacity or server-based model. For the user-based option, there's three different license levels. There's workgroup edition, standard edition, and enterprise edition. Now first, let's define user. Any user is licensed to do anything within Cognos. So as an administrator, you can shut down what users have access to, but from a license configuration perspective, you don't have to worry about, you know, having to pay extra because you had a user have access to a feature that maybe they weren't entitled to. There's none of that, right? All users are, are fully allowed to use all capabilities. As an administrator, you get to decide what they can do. So it keeps the licensing very simple. Now, for these three three capabilities, workgroup, standard versus enterprise, um, the key considerations are the content store and availability. So workgroup edition, typically see this for organizations that are about 25 to maybe 7,500 users. 100 gig content store is what workgroup edition is limited to. And it's got a 95% availability SLA that's defined in IBM Cognos terms of use document. I'll talk about that document later. Standard edition gives you 250 gigabyte content store and almost 99% availability. Enterprise Edition gives you a 500 gigabyte content store, 99.75 availability, and bare metal. It's important to note that, that all of these environments are single tenant, so that's not even a consideration here. So these are the different user subscription options. All right, now the capacity model. For those of you familiar with on-prem licensing, Capacity model would be similar to the PBU metric on prem. And the base capacity model is, is essentially a 280 PBU configuration. Capacity is just one SLA and 99.75. So that's great. You're getting high availability. And then you can do things like increase the amount of storage, increase the amount of RAM, or increase the amount of cores you know, on a per month fee basis. Capabilities are the same between the two. It's just how the license model, right? And lots of considerations as to when, go, when you go user versus capacity model. Again, we'd be happy to set up a call with you to learn more about your organization and help uh, size this and make the right recommendation. Okay. Now, to reiterate, the user model, again, the service level metric, for Cognos Analytics on Cloud Workgroup Edition, which is the bottom left here, 95% SLA recommended for organizations with 25 or more users, typically up to about 50 or 75. Standard Edition gives you the higher SLA, almost not, almost 99%, um, and it, it's good for 100 users plus typically. And then Enterprise Edition is bare metal, and that gives you the 99.9. And then for the capacity model, again, it's the it's the high SLA already. There's just one SLA for it. And you can use it, the capacity model, for as small of a number of users as you want. It's really going to be a function of your use case and how much usage you're doing. 
Again, we'd be happy to set up a call with you to talk through um, which model might be best for your environment. Uh, IBM has had a program that's this program is not always active, um, but it's called the Dual Entitlement Program, also referred to as Bridge to Cloud. At the time of your renewal, or when you're nearing your renewal, typically it's good to get started at least six months before your renewal, so you can start really thinking about this. Um, instead of just renewing, you can execute a Bridge to Cloud or Dual Entitlement. What's great about this is instead of just putting your money against renewal for for a fee that's 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 higher than your renewal, but not necessarily as if you're just going and buying cloud. So for for a small increment over what your typical renewal would be, you have the ability to get your renewal as well as cloud for whatever the duration is that you execute for. Um, so these are particularly useful. So you're basically using your renewal to give you the ability to go and assess cloud, but you also get your full support from your renewal. Okay, so your renewal spend is really doing double work for you. This is a great value. You continue with your support just as normal. At the end of this program, you then decide: Do I want to stay on cloud? If you were able to migrate to cloud, then you just stay on. Or you stay on prem. But during the duration of the agreement, you get both. So I've had some customers use these agreements to test new projects. They have a new set of users. They would want to serve some dashboards to, and they decide that cloud is going to be the best approach at, at evaluating that. And so they use this to test those new projects. Maybe they've got some cloud data sources that are going to be a lot easier to connect to from uh, Cognos Analytics on cloud than it would be on prem. Great way to, to get started. Some customers are using this environment to help as their DR, so in case they're on prem later. So it's providing value in the middle as they're evaluating cloud. Use it to explore and educate on new cloud new technologies. The cloud services team is going to constantly be upgrading your environment for you. So you can use that as kind of your training, your test bed to evaluate the, the, the most recent release. And then obviously you can you can use this to fully adopt and migrate to cloud, which is best case. But again, at the end of this agreement, you're guaranteed to go back to perpetual licenses if you want to. There's no reason statement calls to do that. So this is a great value, great way to go assess cloud. Um, so when you're coming up to your renewal, you know if you engage LPA, we can uh, help understand what program options are currently available. Available. Talk you through talk through your environment and guide you to the right license model whether that's capacity or user, whether that's work group or standard, or enterprise edition. So again, reach out to LPN. We'd be happy to assist you with this decision. Okay, the slide in front of you, this full list was things you always had to do. So all the administrators who are currently joining us for this webinar, you know, you're familiar with all these items. The great thing now is you can see these responsibilities have been divided. You're only responsible for what's on the right hand side of the screen now. You don't need to worry about system licensing, security patches, application upgrades, fixed pack upgrades, hardware refreshes. You don't need time to find, to install and configure new versions on multiple systems or to pay LPA to come in and do that, right? The cloud services team is doing that now substantial savings to you, whether it's your time or your money. You don't have to worry about the third party software required to support Cognos, right? All the system applications that support Cognos, like the web service, the content store database, operating system, and going to those confusing conforming conformance sites to find out which version of the content store is or isn't supported. That's all done. IBM's doing that for you. Backups, they're doing that. How many folks on this webinar today have a DR system in place, right? By going to Cognos Analytics on Cloud, you'll have one, right? As well as those published SLAs. 
Right? It's a lot of manpower, hardware, software, and licensing costs that IBM is taking on by going to cloud. So great value to you as a customer. Great value. All right, I put this slide in just to emphasize what a what a Cognos Analytics on cloud administrator is responsible for. IBM has removed a bunch of tabs, but within the tabs, IBM has also removed areas that IBM now manages. For example, within the configuration tab, you no longer see dispatchers and services. On the status tab, system isn't available. Now, there's going to be cases where tuning for your specific application may need access to these areas. This is still possible, but they're done by the cloud operations team with guidance from customer support. So again, simplified administration. All right, a lot of customers ask me about releases because they're worried that their organization may not be able to adopt releases as quickly as they may be coming out. All right, well, here's the good news. You can remain behind at least one release. The way an upgrade works is just like it does on-prem. Today, when you do a, a development environment or a non-production environment, yeah, you upgrade it, you move your content, right? You do some, some quick testing and then you ask your users or some subset of your users to go and invalidate. Same process. You've got a non-production environment here, right? The IBM team is doing the upgrades. They're letting you know when it's available for you to test. And then they're not going to go update your production environment until you've signed off that you're good with the, with, with the upgrade. You're responsible for report validation, just like you would have been on prem So you need those, the same test process you may be using today. You know, might be something you carry forward to cloud. All right, disaster recovery and backup. Again, these things are all built into the cost. So there's no consideration here. Your IBM Cognos Terms of Use document lays this out. DRs in a different geography. You've got your published SLAs around this in that terms of use document. Content backup, you could read on, on the screen here uh, the considerations around that. That's also defined in that Cognos Analytics terms of use document. So, again, IBM. Okay. Now, for those of you not yet on Cognos Analytics, Right. There's some considerations on operating from Cognos 10 2x Cognos Analytics. Right. Where's Chester? Again, on several of the webinars we've completed on upgrading. If you go to lpa.com, search through our existing webinars, Rich will talk you through all those considerations on upgrading the Cognos Analytics. The charts I put together here are basic features that are going to be available or not available on Cognos on the cloud. So these are considerations beyond just move, moving to Cognos Analytics. These are moving to Cognos Analytics on cloud. Now, here's a good example. Query Studio and Analysis Studio. If you're on-prem with Cognos Analytics, you can enable the legacy studios and still have those running. Uh, they, they're soon to be deprecated or they're already deprecated. So the, who knows how much longer they're going to be there. You're going to want to make or eat your users off of those anyway. Uh, the new reporting interface is very similar to Query Studios when you're just doing a list report. So you should work to get those users migrated. But on Cognos Alex on Cloud, Query Studio and Analysis Studio are not supported. So you're going to have to get those users migrated. Uh, Cognos Workspace, read only workspaces are supported, but you can't author new workspaces. You know, get those workspace users into the new dashboarding interface. It's a great interface for dashboarding. They'll be happy you did it. Event Studio supported. Metric Studio, PowerPlay Studio are not available on cloud. Transformer can read DQM data sources from Cognos uh, Analytics on cloud. Power Cubes can be built on prem and published up to the cloud. Dynamic Cubes are not supported. CQM, and this is the one of the biggest cloud migration considerations, CQM data sources are not supported. So if you don't have a JDBC driver that's supported for DQM mode, then that data source is not going to be supported from the cloud. So it's common. A lot of my customers have access databases, for example, with an ODBC driver. That CQM source is not going to be directly accessible from cloud. 
So again, we'd be happy to discuss the options with you, but you got to get your data sources uh, migrated over to DQM uh, to take advantage of Cognizant when sign up for it. SDK is not currently available on cloud. Bursting is supported, but consider that the users you're bursting to are a user. Right? As I said earlier, a Cognizant Analytics on cloud user gets full capabilities. So, you, so you're taking up one of those user licenses if you're bursting to them. You know, if you have a high number of bursting users, a capacity model may make a lot of sense. Theming, branding, customization are supported. Again, backup and recovery, IBM owns that. You cannot access the file system, right? That's one of the benefits, right, of IBM managing that environment, right? You don't have to deal with the, the file system, but there are cases where you might want access to it. You're not going to have access. You can open PMRs to get things like hog server logs if you want it. Um, um, similarly, you can't save to the file system for the same reason. You can open PMRs to have IBM upload images. You could work with IBM on your database drivers, making sure we've got the right versions installed. Uh, SAML supported via OpenID Connect provider for Blue ID. SSO supported ASO 1106 with the Blue ID Federation to SAML. You can see what's available on Cognos administration. So this list gives me an idea of you know, cloud feature compatibility. I've got a large matrix of these along with some additional uh, considerations. Again, reach out to me after this webinar. I'd be happy to provide you additional details. Again, we set up a call to talk through uh, what it would take to help you migrate. We would be walking through a lot of these items together. So. Okay. One of the biggest misconceptions people have when they go to cloud is, do I have to move my data to cloud? Right? People assume if we're putting Cognos in the cloud, like Cognos just talks to databases, we better make sure the database is near it. Well, no, that's 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 not the case. So the important thing to note here is that IBM Cognos Analytics on cloud, there's no requirement to move your data to cloud. BI or Cognos Analytics on cloud securely connects to your on-prem database without a lift and shift of the data. Cognos Analytics on cloud uses IP security for VPN connectivity. As part of the onboarding process, when we're working with you to get you set up on, on cloud, we're going to set up these VPN connections with your infrastructure team to make it so Cognos on cloud could talk to your on-prem databases and talk to your Active Directory so that you can use your Active Directory, for example, for authentication. So no, no need to lift and shift. If you want to lift and shift, you can. If you want to use Cognos Analytics on cloud, to report against all the different cloud uh, data sources that are out there, great, go do that. But you can still have your on-prem databases. The following diagram gives you an idea of the authentication authorization process that a user would go through when they're logging into Cognos. So I've got all kinds of detailed security information as well as security diagrams I'd be happy to share. Again, feel free to reach out uh, to me after this webinar. I'm happy to set up a call to talk you through this in more, more detail. But again, that, that VPN tunnel I described basically from the top right here that we've got IBM Cloud, bottom left, we've got your internal firewall, your end users working directly with Cognos. Cognos is talking via that VPN, that Cloud Client VPN tunnel to your local AD server, to your local databases, and enabling authentication, authorization, as well as uh, data, data source uh, access. Security remains one of the top concerns for, for customers looking to adopt the cloud. Right? Every customer I talk to about cloud, I don't care what industry they're in, security is, is one of the top considerations. IBM Cognos Analytics on Cloud leverages its enterprise values that customers have come to expect for years. Users coming into the environment are met with SSL, TLS encryption to ensure data access in the browser is safe and secure. Once a request has been submitted, 
IBM encrypts all communications internally in the BI stack using the latest encryption standards. All temporary files, while, while local calculations or report generations are happening, are fully encrypted. As information is passed from the content store, uh, from the content tier to the content store, they're using a 1022 feature that allows SSL encryption. And finally, all data at rest is encrypted to ensure it's, we have complete coverage. So you're fully secure in this environment. On the current slide, I've got a link that takes you to the data security and privacy pr principles for IBM SaaS. This is where you'll find things like the governance and security policies that go with this. Um, we can have SAC reports requested for you, whatever industry you're in, and the specific cloud standards. If you have questions on whether or not a certain standard is supported, feel free to shoot us an email. If you have a cloud questionnaire that your IT team requires before you can start using cloud, send that to us we can take a shot at getting that completed for you so this link is a great place to start i've mentioned the ibm cognos analytics terms of use several times uh, during during this webinar so here's the link to the SAS terms of use this document again defines things like your level of service so if you are considering cloud i strongly recommend you look at the SAS uh, specific offering terms Just to, just to reiterate, you know, IBM is investing $1.2 billion in new cloud resources to expand their soft layer presence. The map above gives you an idea of some of the data centers that are currently available. Right? So IBM is making a huge investment in this space. You're choosing the right partner if you're considering Cognos Analytics on cloud for your cloud analytics environment. You know, IBM is going to be the leader in this space. Likewise, choose a partner with the know-how to assist with your on-prem or Cognos Analytics, cloud and Cognos Analytics environments. Contact sales at lpa.com to set up a call with one of our experts to provide a free cloud migration or Cognos upgrade assessment, right? So we, we can provide free assessments to help you understand what it's going to take to get you migrated. Okay, so on that note, I'd like to thank everyone for joining today's webinar. I hope to see you at future webinars. Visit lpa.com to sign up for the next one. Thank you.